Hey guys, Weston here with Trouble Painting. So today we're bringing you another episode of How To, and today we'll be talking about how to roll walls out. Um, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit first about how to get the walls ready to be rolled. Uh, so as you can see here, we've got a few patches on the wall. Um, so we'll go through and we'll make sure to patch any inconsistencies in the wall, dings, pops, cracks, and things like that. Uh, then we'll go through, sand them, and then we'll get our brushwork done. And as you can see here, we've got our brushwork done right here. Um, so next, all we got to do is bring an 18 inch roller, which I've got right here. So this is our 18 inch roller and we've got our 18 inch pan, which hold, holds our paint right there. And uh, we'll hop right into rolling. So first thing you want to do is get your roller filled up with paint. You don't want too much paint, but just enough. If you do it enough times, you'll kind of get the feel for it. Um, as you can see right here, that's probably just about all that you want. And then there's multiple ways to actually use this roller. I'm gonna be showing you my way. Um, every painter probably has their own way to do it. Um, I like to start in the middle here, get all my paint in one general location, and then I'll just roll up and down. And I'll bring it out to the sides and you wanna roll as high as you can without bumping the ceiling, and then as close as you can to the trim without bumping the trim, and then as close to the bottom as you can without bumping the bottom as you see here, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, nothing too crazy. What you do want to make sure is that you get everything filled in properly. You get your coverage down. Um, you don't want any skipped spots, any missed spots. Just make sure you have a really good roll going on there. And there you go, that's one section. You come back and you want to fill up again. Bring your roller onto the next section. And these are fairly small sections, so I'm just doing one roller fill. But when you have a larger wall, you'll have to dip it multiple times. You don't want to stretch your paint too thin. And I'm rolling this uh, 18 uh, frame and nap on the side on the side of the 18 tray here just to get off any excess paint that's on there it helps get paint all the way around the, the roller here um, just so that you don't have paint flying everywhere so this is a little bit bigger section so I'm going to chop it into two parts I'll hit this left side first make sure it's all covered And as you can see, I've only got a little bit left. So this is one of those instances where you don't want to fill your roller up all the way. You just want to get a little bit on there just to fill in this little bit of a gap that's on the wall there. So I'm not grabbing too much here. And that'll do ya. And when you start your roller, you don't want to get too close to the trim when you when you first start laying on the paint. Because if you get too close to the trim, then you don't have anywhere for that excess paint to go. You don't have anywhere to roll it out. So you really want to start a little bit away from any kind of trim that you're doing or you know the next wall, just so that you have the ability to come back through and flatten out any kind of, you know, uh, what we call ropes is where the paint starts to sag down the wall. Um, just fixing any of those inconsistencies. I'm actually going to move my tray a little bit closer here so I'm not dragging paint everywhere. And like I stated before, stay off the trim just a little bit so that you have room to move around like so. And you'll notice that we're using a, uh, an 18 inch roller here. Uh, I know the most common that most people will see is a nine inch roller, you know, half of this width. The reason that we use this 18 inch roller is because it'll span huge distances really quickly. So it's just an efficiency type thing. Uh, just makes the job go a lot quicker. Right. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you roll the wall out. Uh, if you like the content, if you thought it was helpful, please follow us on YouTube. Subscribe, follow, uh, press the little button. Thanks for joining in.